Hey there, this is your friend Kodajit and in this video I am going to talk about Blazor component parameters. Now communication between Blazor components is primarily done using parameters and there are a couple of options as far as parameters are concerned that you have. The first is a regular parameter or a component parameter when you pass a parameter directly to the component that you have included in your parent component or the second parameter type is cascading parameter and a cascading parameter is not just available to the immediate child but also to the children of the child so all the children of the children will have access to the cascading parameter that you pass and will be able to use it to modify their behavior so let's take a look at both of them I have this project from an earlier tutorial that I made about Blazor configuration and I'm going to go ahead and use it again for this particular project too. All this project does is pick up an app settings file from www root and show the contents in a web page. So let's add some parameters to the mix. So I have the main layout over here. This is the layout component and in Blazor the layout component is the root component for every single child component below it that is where every single child component goes right in body and the page that we're going to access that we are loading up right now over here is the index page you can see that there is no uh, further directory or further page specified in the url it's just the root page and we've got the root url over here in the page attribute or the page directive and this is the page that's loading and all the data that we see on the screen is in the settings component right over here. So you got the name, the age and the profession. So let's add a parameter in index in the settings component and let's call that parameter show apps made and let's set it to true. And now we got to introduce this parameter inside of settings. So what we're going to do is we need a code behind file or we need to write the code over here. Now, when I write my Blazor applications, what I like to do is add a code behind file and it's pretty easy. All you need to do is add a class and just name it the same as your Razor file with the CS suffix. So it's going to be settings.razor.cs. Now, all the code I like writing here, so just mark it partial. And I like my code uh, here because it's more logical, it's more organized. I don't have to put the code where the uh, where the HTML code is, and it makes things cleaner in my opinion. So I'm gonna do that. If you want, you can write the same code right over here in the code section, and it won't change anything. But if you are somebody who values good design like me. I'm talking about programming design. I'm a really bad interface designer, but when it comes to code design, I like to do things proper and I think this is the right way to do it. So what we're going to do is we will have a public variable over here called the, the same name as the parameter. So it was show apps made. So let's call it public bool show apps made and it has to be a property. So we'll just set it. We'll just have a property setter and then we need to have a attribute that marks it a parameter so component parameter and of course you need to have the namespace so just click on it and then control dot dot and you will be able to just add the using class right over here and now it should work so you can successfully set the parameter now in index and things will work. So you can see that the color of parameter has changed to green, which means Visual Studio now recognizes it as a parameter. Let's write some code to actually use this parameter. In the settings component, I'm going to create a new row and I'm going to give the heading apps made. And for now, I'm just going to put in a literal value over here called dozens. And I want this row to show only if the apps made parameter show apps made parameter is set to true. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in an if directive if show apps made and put this code over here. 
and now it will show only if show apps made is going to be true. So let's give it a whirl. Let's execute the project once more. So you can see that apps made dozens is showing up and that's because right now in code it is set to true in index. If we set it to false we can save and if we reload the project we can see that now apps made is not showing up. Let's have one more parameter and show this value from the parameter too. So let's go back into settings. Let's copy it over, paste it and this time we'll just call it how many. Change the type to string. All right and then in settings we just got to do this. How many and this should produce the value of how many over here whatever you set over here will be produced over here so now we got to go to index and provide this parameter too so in this over here we will write how many and we'll just say sum so now if we run the project again all right so it's not showing up we got to set this to true too save it and run it again And you can see here apps made is now sum. So you are using two parameters show apps made and how many and both of them are directly being passed to this component from the parent. So the index where the settings component is referred it's passing this value to the settings component right away. But there will be some scenarios where you want the value to come from even further up in the hierarchy. For example what if you want to set something in main layout and want to show it in settings? How would you do that? Well, that is possible through cascading parameters and that's what we'll see now. Cascading parameters are parameters that are available to all the components below it in the hierarchy. So here we've got the main layout razor component and let's say I want to set up something over here that I want to get in the settings component. Now you can see that we are not referring to the settings component directly over here. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to pass a parameter from main layout to settings and change its behavior? What you need to do is you need to wrap the area where you are referring to settings somewhere down the line in a cascading value. Any object that you put in a cascading value is going to be available to all the components in this hierarchy but you have to pass an object so we have to create an object first we have enclosed the body tag in cascading value but we need to have an object and we don't have a code behind class over here and i don't want to create one right now so let's just have a code block over here and specify a value for the cascading value let's call it uh, experience here we go put it over here and now experience is going to be available to all the components that are a part of body settings is one of them let's go into settings and we can specify the same parameter name here experience and this time instead of specifying parameter we have to call it or decorate it with the cascading parameter attribute and now it's getting the value from main layout and we can then create another row where we're going to show this so here's another row the heading and let's put in the new value let's run it again and see how that works as you can see now we've got experience 23 set correctly and that's a cascading parameter we're passing it from main layout and it's available to all the components that are below main layout as long as the component refers to this parameter using the cascading parameter attribute. We've reached the end of this tutorial about Blazor parameters and I hope you now know how to use them correctly. I do have many more programming videos on this channel so don't forget to subscribe, like this video and keep watching for more real world programming. This is Kodajit, your best friend in programming, signing off.